right. and all that. Then we have, on the other hand, we have like Jake Paul fighting <laughs> uh, Woodley. I knew that was coming. Um, <laughs> and and it's a boxing fight, and they're the main event. Um, two guys that yes, Woodley's a a fighter, and he probably has some boxing, or I I don't know his. Well, he was a well. UFC champ. Yeah, yeah, I know he was a, a right. UFC champ, but I'm saying. Uh, and and Jerry and I were talking about this earlier. How he's not. Yes, he's a fighter and everything, but he's not a boxing, boxing, strictly boxing person. You know, mm. you could argue that someone like like Keith Thurman. I'll, I'll throw out a B fighter. I, in my opinion, I like Keith Thurman, but he's like a B fighter, right? Mm. Solid B fighter. Um, he's he could top Jake Paul, I think. Right. Honestly. Oh well, yeah. Right. Um, but Jake Paul's calling this like, ah, oh, now I'm calling out Canelo. And yes, I know you want to sell tickets and all. Mm. Are those fights the the popularity fights um, more damaging than a Pacquiao, fifty-two year old Pacquiao <laughs> coming yeah. out or whatever, uh, defending it's a, like a bell. Right? I I don't think <laughs> I don't think either one is damaging. To but the but sport Jerry of made a good point that there's an on the I, I didn't hear Coleman J- event. Well, okay. on the Coleman event. Yeah, I didn't hear Jerry's. I didn't hear Jerry's response. Um, but I'm just gonna give my take really quick. All right. So I don't think it's damaging either way because. That's something that's been going on since the beginning of time with boxing. But it's, guys it's that, happening more often. Guys, guys that have been hanging around the game for far too long. Right. Happened with Muhammad Ali, you know? Right. Um, so, old guys stepping in, retiring like three, four, five times. They get into the ring. They get their ass kicked. And then, but you don't, I don't think it's damaging because the guy that they're going to fight, all of a sudden gets a name for himself, you know? They when they wouldn't have had that opportunity. Like this guy that just fought Pacquiao. Yeah, but he's I, already like but he's 38 a, he's years a real old. Boxer. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. But he's already no, no, no. late in he's, his okay. career too. But, uh, but I'm saying, this guy that fought Manny Pacquiao, nobody knew of him, but now in his next fight, in his promotions and everything. The guy who took down the, Manny The Pacquiao. guy who took down right. the legendary right. Manny course. Pacquiao. So it's going to build up him. And then whoever he fights... It, it's like that trickle down. It's just like the Anthony Joshua fight when he fought uh, Andy it? Ruiz. Andy Ruiz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Nobody knew who Andy Ruiz and, was. And the only reason Andy Ruiz got that fight was because, because the other guy, guy fell out. Yeah. popped yeah. Fell out. hot yeah. for, for yeah. steroids. Yeah, so yeah. like, again, now Andy Ruiz, we know him of yeah, him as a top what five I'm is, heavyweight. But see, that's, but those Anthony are real Joshua boxers. Was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anthony but Joshua was at his but, prime, though. But hold on. Also. So like going back to these going back to these spectacle fights, right? So Peter's talking about like Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley. Um, but I had mentioned to you that in one of those fights, Billy Joe Saunders, I, I can't remember what spectacle fight it was like these YouTube fighters. Mm-hmm. Billy Joe Saunders was on the undercard of that right. fight. He would have never got seen by any of the public if he wasn't on that fight. And it wasn't because of, and if it wasn't for the popularity of these these YouTube guys. Do you understand what I'm yeah, saying? Right. No, so then, that's, that's a very, very solid point. Just like uh, we were talking about the Jake Paul and uh, Tyron Woodley fight. Um, they're attracting a lot of eyes and a lot of pay-per-view buys. Just like Amanda Serrano. Mm-hmm. She's in that car, yeah. right? She's going to make some money. And millions and millions of people are going to watch her fight. Because of yeah. the Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley. Let, let's but, say, but, but, let's say, but Jake let's Paul say, Jake, wait, let's say Jake Paul knocks out Tyron Woodley. Who gives a fuck? But like he's saying, people they are going to be like, money. who the fuck was that? Amanda? Who was it? And then they're going right. to look her up. They're going to follow her career. And they're going to be like, oh, shit, I can't wait for her to fight again. Again. And that's right. what happened with Billy Joe Saunders. I think it was. Uh, and Christy Logan, Martin. It was, Have you guys seen that documentary? Oh, when he he used to fight under the Mike Tyson card. He fought on the Mike Tyson card, and people were like, oh, girls fighting. The coal miner's daughter, dude. And they were the fight of the night. Yeah. And that's when she blew up and started making mad cash. There's a documentary about that? It's just, yes, it's on Netflix. But then, then, okay, so say Jake Paul wins, right? It overshadows a lot of the storyline of the other fights, Mm -hmm. obviously. Then we're going to be looking at another... for the next couple of months, he's calling out Canelo. He's calling out all that. Nobody's going to give a crap about these other fighters. Not unless really, you're really. Uh, in the boxing community. Not really, you're really because not give when a crap. I think it was the Logan Paul KSI fight. They're two YouTubers. And like but they you, brought and they fought on DAZN. They brought a lot of eyeballs. But again, like it was the undercards that people got to see who these guys were. They're like, 
because they're like anticipating the Logan Paul KSI fight. They're like, man, I want to watch this. And guys that would have never watched boxing, all of a sudden they see these other fighters and they're like, holy fuck, these two Puerto Ricans are beating the shit out of each other. Yep. You know, like, yeah, whatever it is. And they're like, fuck, yeah, this is kind of cool. I think I might start watching boxing now. No, and, the, and that's how it both happens. Both of you dude. got solid points, you know, but it's just, again, it's a double edged sword. Ha, right, it's a double edged sword. Again, yeah, because, you know, it could build some names because, like, now we're going to, we get to see the other fighters in the card that have no names. If they put on great fights, guess yeah. what? They're going to be, they're going to be called by other promotions to fight. And that's what's important for the other fighters that are under on that same card. And let's be honest, you know? like, if, these guys that are true boxers were fighting as the main event. Nobody's going to watch them. Right. The sad reality is nobody's going to watch them. But you put a Jake Paul, KSI, Logan Paul, whoever the fuck, Conor McGregor, you put them on the main event. People are going to buy it. Then they're going to see these undercards and they're going to say like, hey, right. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad and I they got make to see more, this. They make more fans that way. You know, and a lot of these fights is because they want to see what's going to happen. You know what I mean? They know Jake Jake Paul sucks at boxing. Everybody knows that shit, right? But everybody wants to see what's going to happen. Is he is he going to finally get knocked the fuck out like we all want? Because exactly. I know I want him to get knocked the fuck like out. Why, 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 you know what I mean? that? why is that that you want him to get knocked the fuck out? Because I want him to realize, like, hey, you're fighting real fighters. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Eventually, yeah. when he has yeah, yeah. starts, you know, like right now, Tyron but Woodley has power. Do you think he's disrespecting the sport? And that's why I think you he's disrespecting the sport why, at, at to a certain extent. Why? Because he's called, he's already calling out big, big name yeah. fights, but and he's and he's have barely like, what, like three fights? what has he got three, three, yeah, yeah. three it's gonna be his third fight. Right? But, but yeah. can I, can I like be the other guy? Yeah, yeah, of so, course, of okay, course. So I, guy, I, I don't, I don't think he's disrespecting the sport. I think he's bringing a lot of awareness of what's dirty about the sport. Right. He's talked about like how Dana White makes millions of fucking dollars where right. these fighters. Are making fucking peanuts, and that's dude. and that's one thing. And I he's do give he's already Jake exposed. Paul. Yeah, yeah. He's a, and I that's why Dana White him. hates the, hates him right. because Dana White, he's a fucking billionaire and shit. And yep. because of, on the backs of these he fighters, makes, he makes more money you know? than the fighters do. Yeah, and lo, uh, Jake Paul is saying like, man, like you guys are getting fucked here. Right. At least when you fight me. Tyron Woodley's gonna make more money fighting me yep. than he ever did in the UFC. Yeah. So, because I, I got so I don't think he's disrespecting the sport. Right. He's, in the business he's, sense, he's, he's yes. exposing the Bob Arums, the Dana Whites, the Golden Boys, both MMA and boxing. Because, right. I mean, you said it yourself. Right. It's a dirty fucking sport, and yeah. I get fucked. Like right. I'm saying, you. Yeah. Like yeah, you yeah. get fucked over being a cut man, and I think Jake Paul is exposing it, saying like these guys are. Rat the rats, bro. Yeah. Hey. No, and then the and that's in that in that aspect. Yes, I believe he is one of the best promoters right now because he's promoting himself very very well. He's getting all these fighters paid very yeah. very well. He's got a mask, and on. he's exposing the business for what it is, right? Yeah. But him to call himself, you know, calling out all these other yeah. fighters and like, yeah, yeah. you know, that's disrespectful. That to me is disrespectful, especially, well, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, how are you going to call out Canelo? I mean, yeah, like, come on. But, but, so, but, well, it, but it's like Canelo. Right. You think you're Canelo promoting really, yourself. but right. you he's think, not gonna fight him, yeah, right. you think Canelo really gives two shit. Right. Canelo's over there. He's like, it's like when, um, <laughs> no, what, it's, what's it's his the name? Fact that this guy can say that I called well, it's out like Canelo. Well, yeah. it's not going to Well, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like when McGregor was jumping over. Right. McGregor's a he's a fucking athlete. He's an MMA superstar and everything, but it's a different sport. And right. he was doing it, and a lot of boxers thought it was very disrespectful, analysts right. and everything. But he still made like fifty five million. But like Ma like McGregor <laughs> yeah. was saying, and like even now McGregor, Mag McGregor calls his own shots even in the UFC, even though he hasn't won a fucking fight since like two thousand sixteen yep. or whatever. Makes the he still makes he calls his own shots. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and you know that frustrates Dana White. Right. Because at the end of the day, the UFC doesn't want independent fighters, you know? Mm -hmm. They want fighters that are going to go in the ring and they can fucking go in the right. cage and they can make money off right. of them. You but know? So here, now, here's now, the thing, though. What I was going to say was um, how, how Jake Paul's calling out all these boxers. And, yes, I'll agree that he, he's exposed how um, the promoters control everything. Mm -hmm. Because I think any true professional, especially like – 
a- any professional boxer would jump in because you have this pride like for the sport and you'd be like, all right, fight me. Don't fight. Don't fight an MMA fighter in yeah, a boxing fight a match. Fucking boxer, dude. Fight. Right. That's, you know, that's like, what I'm mad about. It's like, this guy I, I wish that Canelo could call his own shot and just say, okay, yeah, let me meet me up. three months from now. We'll do this. Yeah. Flagpole, three o'clock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll I, I guarantee if they said nobody, uh, I mean, just, uh, I mean, this would never happen, obviously. Yeah. But never, ever seen that sell again. the fights and no, nobody gets a check. It all goes like, whatever. Let's see. Well, what do you, charity. but here, here's the thing that kind of already happened when McGregor was prepared. Uh, was called into a camp to like spar and everything with Polly Malinaji. And that video got exposed and it wasn't supposed to. And that's what Malinaji got fucking pissed about because. Yeah, but they, Malinaji they put, was told one thing. I mean, you could, you could say yeah. one thing. He was told to go in there and spar with him. Yeah. And when somebody, and you, you know, mm-hmm. if you're sparring, yes, you're fighting, you're fighting. But you're fighting at a almost like a right. learning. You're not going. 100%. You're not going a hundred percent. And when that well, not next person to. is going a hundred percent and catches you off guard, of course, dude. Yeah. That's yeah. like in football or any sport that you're going half speed. One guy's going half speed and the others. Yeah. You're but, you're gonna be like, but, what the? Fuck? Yeah, it's like they got the and offense on defense. And if there's video defense. where you get hit or knocked down or whatever the case, and you're so getting, would you say Mayweather's disrespecting the sport because he's already had about three I, spectacle fights? I say fights. Mayweather's contributed so much to the sport that, that yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there's what no the way because yeah, yeah, yeah. because we all know it. Because the reason I'm asking, he already had the Conor McGregor fight, he had the Logan Paul fight, and then he fought like some kickboxer in Japan that yeah. weighed like a buck twelve, he and, he, and he, he beat the. Fu- he was what? He was undefeated. Though. Yeah, but it was a fucking but child was, he was fighting. Was you know? and, and that wasn't even like, exposure. It did, and that like one did it, but and that one was considered an exhibition yeah, match, yeah. so it didn't really yeah, count. Even, so yeah. one thing about Mc, well, I'll use McGregor and Mayweather fight. Uh, the difference between that, I really do think that McGregor or uh, that Mayweather was defending the sport opposed to um, making a farce out of it. Uh, I mean, yes, obviously they both made big bucks, and yes. But at no point in that fight was uh, Mayweather ever in true danger. He toyed with him. If you're, if you know his career, he toyed with him. He knew he could take his punch, and he let him throw a couple, and then he showed off. And yeah, he, I mean, he, he when them. he fought Logan Paul, he same thing. held him up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he held him up. Yeah, he yeah. freaking knocked him. Like same thing, and that, yeah. that's why when like Jake Paul was talking in the press conference, that saying, "Oh, my brother." Uh, gave Mayweather. At what point did he give him any yeah, trouble? But I think he's just again, selling it. He's yeah, just yeah, yeah. selling it. It's like right. uh, Jake Paul is seeing this as a WWE promotion rather than boxing promotion, and that's the thing. If you're if you're a boxing fan, you're not gonna purchase this this fight of like who who who's the best, Tyron Woodley yeah, or right. Jake Paul? But, but, well, that's what Jake Paul's good at, right? To, is the drama. Exactly. Like, that's right. that's what he yeah, does. Jake Paul, Jake Paul is it. just basically saying, "I'm gonna put on a fucking an Reality entertainment TV. an entertainment event." Yeah. He's not saying this is a boxing true boxing event. He's not fighting a top fifty dude but or anything. But you're kind he's, of contradicting yourself because you were saying that he's exposing. How they don't get recognition. Or if is. you're really, then fight a true boxer. Yeah. A true boxer. He doesn't need to, though. He doesn't need to. That's what he's showing. He doesn't need to, like, fall into. Because here's the thing if he's going to f- fight a true boxer like uh, any of these guys that are in the top 25, yeah. he's got to fucking pay their promotions. He's saying, fuck those guys. Tyron Woodley doesn't have any connection with any of these Bob Arums, Golden Boys, or anything, UFCs. No, he's saying, Fuck those guys. We're going to keep them out of it. You're going to get paid. Not those big heads. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But so you're that's saying why he's exposing boxing when he hasn't fought a boxer. He, yeah, yeah. No, but <laughs> that's like you understand saying, what I'm that's saying, like right? Saying, I, I, exactly you under, what you're saying. I expose a soccer player, but I'm going to or I expose soccer, but he, I'm going to play football. I'm play against just, a basketball player. No, he's <laughs> just saying like, dude, you guys don't need to fall into the trap of so many. And I but that's that. with everything, I though. Yeah, I mean, like, a- yes. any professional sport, it's all that way. You got to pay the, the heads. The thing the is, there's, heads. there's really no outlet for the fighters to, you know, they all have to get together. Yeah. You know. And there's no players association for the fighters. Right. And they, they all have mm. to get together and put their foot down and be like, no, we're not going to fight. Like, pretty much go on a strike. And But the bad thing about it is that they can get sued for money that they don't have. Yeah. So they have to fight. 
Well, well, it's you because know? you can't go individual until you've made it big. Yeah. Like like De La Hoya, it took him. It took Mayweather. They had to go through through the grind with other people calling the shots until they made it to a certain. But point, even right? even then, like De La Hoya doesn't even call his own shots. It's Golden Boy. Like it's his promotion. Yes, you think of Golden Boy as yeah, De La Hoya. but there's a board and but all that. Yeah, but, but he also has partners. Yeah. So I, I mean, just feel like to call yourself a boxer, like in Logan Jake Paul's case like you have to fight a boxer I, I deep down inside i don't think he's calling himself a boxer he's just he's, he's just with people, yeah like he's just getting people off. yeah, yeah. Like, right. he's trolling that's because exactly he's, what he's yeah, doing yeah he's a troll he's yeah. pissing people he's famous well, he was born from <laughs> the internet yeah right. exactly <laughs> he's so. a troll and and he has so many <laughs> followers that and he makes the ones great that fucking him. content are you gonna dude? watch that fight jerry he makes no no dude have you seen him on youtube i'll wait i'll wait for the highlights yeah dude he's no, but a fucking like, monster yeah. on YouTube. I, dude, well, he I has love, a lot of followers for a reason. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. He's right. I love watching his shit on YouTube. Right. I like watching when he was throwing shit at Conor McGregor's trainer. He's calling right. people out. He takes Mayweather's hat. Like, dude, that is fucking, it's fucking entertainment. It's, yeah, the it's the hilarious. best. It's a fucking <laughs> clip that like gets played over and over. He knows what he's doing, and it's right. it's awesome. sometimes sometimes in those instances, I wonder if they're like staged a little bit. Like, does he tell yes. him, like, "Hey, I'm gonna yeah, mess with fuck you"? Yeah. yeah, you know Mayweather yeah. was a part of that yeah. shit. Like, same thing with when Connor and and Mayweather were going out. That's all yeah. staged. You know, they know, like, and they, they even, probably rehearsed it before. Yeah, and then even in there, like you know I mean? even Tyron Woodley's yeah. in on it as well because they were saying. He's like naming all these guys, and then Tyron Woodley's like, Tyron Woodley's like, oh, and these nuts or some shit. Like, dude, they're both like playing into they it. They know. It, it's yeah. all part of the game. You it's have fun, to sell dude. the fight. It's fucking fun. You know, you have to sell the fight, you know?